right, so that's what we're learning today. I promise it's not as hard as it sounds. If you wanna make it way easier for yourself, go grab the tabs and the backing track and the link in the description below this video. Today's patron shout outs go to Louis Sherlock and Sarah Goldblatt. Sincerely, thank you. You are honestly what makes these videos possible. And finally, make sure to check out Elixir Strings, the only strings I play in the link in the description below this video. Go grab a new set for yourself while you're at it because a new set of strings is the easiest way to make your guitar sound better. With that, let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to be referencing the notes that we're playing as E, A, D, G, B, and E, and then frets one, two, three, four, and so on. So fifth string, second fret, I'll say A2. It'll be a little bit confusing at the start if you haven't been following along with my other tutorials, but trust me, you'll get it quickly. So moving into the first notes of the intro, we're going to play this. Start playing A0 as the bass note, and then G2 as the melody. And for this part, we're going to be alternating really short notes with the melody, and then held notes for the bass notes. So here we're going to alternate twice between G2 and B1. So. And then you're going to start with A0 on the first one and D0 on the second time. So. you're gonna put your first finger on E1 and then for this one I like to bar it and do E1 and G2 and then just play B1 with this second finger on your right hand and your bar there if that is tricky for you then you can just play this chord and then move that first finger up so either or and then end that intro riff with E3 with a third finger and B0 and then G2, G0. So putting that together, we've got And then for the intro, you're just going to play that whole thing twice. And that's the whole intro right there. So then moving on, we're going to move into the next part, which is the verse, which is section B if you're following along with the tabs. we're going to start with this. So it's mostly just playing on B1 with the first finger and we're doing with our thumb A0 and then D0. So it's just a matter of getting the rhythm there. Then moving on, you're going to keep that finger on B1 and then move your second finger all the way down to E1. Now this is the weirdest stretch in this song, so it is a little bit weird. Again, just like the intro, you can also bar these if you'd prefer, but bar chords are sometimes tricky, so the alternate fingering is right here. So you're going to play these two, And then move up to B3 and G2. Then E0 twice. And then second finger down to G3. And then a nice little thumb slap. So the thumb slap doesn't have to be too hard. It's just a nice gentle hit with your thumb on the sixth and fifth strings here. And that just gives a nice percussive click there. 
So the rhythm for this part is. So what we've got for the verse is. Then we're going to move on and play A0, and then third finger on E3, and then pull off to zero. So, then third finger down to B3, then put that second finger on G2, and then play these three strings. And then twice more on just the B and G string. So the rhythm is then keeping these two fingers in their place, first finger onto E1, then and end that on G2 and E3. And one final thumb slap to end off that part. So the rhythm for that bar is So, putting that together with the entire verse, what we've got so far is... And you can really hear the melody of Shape of You come in through that part right there. So then the second half of the verse is pretty similar in rhythm. But this time, instead of this finger, we're going to play the open E string. So, so that's the open E string in that rhythm with open A and open D string. And then E3 and low E1. Play these two. Open E. Then this chord that we've seen before with B3 and G2. Then take your third finger off and put your first finger on B1 and play that. And then put that third finger back on and slide to the fifth fret. So that bar is... and then with that thumb slap again. So what we've got for the second half of the verse is... Then, first finger on G2 and play A0. Then third finger on E3. Then play E0 four times. B3, B1. Then back up to B3 and E1. Then put the second finger on G2. Then to B1. Third finger goes down to E3, and you play these two. Then, first finger on to D2. G0. G2. So then that second half of the verse all together is going to be... Okay, so starting with the first bar of the pre-chorus, which is section C, if you're following along with the tabs, it's going to be this. So, that's
that's going to be A0 and first finger on G2. Then G2, G0. Then G2 again with D0. Then third finger on to B3. You're going to slide up to the fifth fret and then back down. So. So then the second bar is going to sound like this. So we're going to start here, and this one's going to be a little bit weird fingering, but it's not too tough. It's just a little strange feeling. So you got your second finger on B1, and then first finger on E1. And I actually find this makes it easier if you actually rotate your hand a little bit over the capo, because we're going to use this pinky here, and it's a little bit awkward fingering. So that extra rotation just gives you a better positioning. So you're going to do these two, and then hammer on with your pinky to B3, then E0, then back to e B3. Now you can do that way, you can also bar it if you find that easier, and play the B3 with your third finger. And the best way to get a bar chord ringing out nicer is to use the side of your finger more than the actual flat part to get that bone actually pressing down the strings. And so you can play the same thing, just... So whichever those fingering you find easier, stick with that. It doesn't really matter, it's going to work the same either way. Then you're going to put second finger on G2 third finger on E3, then back to B1, so those last three notes are E0, then third finger on B3, and then pull off to B1. So that bar all together is... Then when you put that with what we've got for the pre-chorus so far, you have... Then moving on, the next bar is going to be... So starting here, we're going to do... So starting here, we're going to do second finger on G2, and we're also going to play A0. Then to D2. Then you're going to do third finger on E3, and then do a pull off to the open. Then do that same thing on B3 to B1. And then end that bar on G2 and E1. So... Then the last bar of this pre-chorus section is... So we're going to do this run, which is B1, B3, E0, and then back down. Then G2 and E3, then back to B1. So B1, E0, B3, B1. That bar all together is... So then you put that all together and we have this from the pre-chorus. So that right there is almost the entire pre-chorus. We're going to play that thing once, and then we're going to play the first three bars again exactly the same. Then, to end off, the last bar of the pre-chorus is going to be this.
So we're starting E3 to E0, then B3 to B1, then this chord we've seen before on G2 and E3, first finger to D2, then G0 to G2. So then all together, that's the entire pre-chorus, and start to finish it's going to sound like this. Right there, you've got the entire pre-chorus. So now moving into the first bar of the chorus, it's going to sound like this. So you're going to start on A0, D2, and G2, and you're going to play. So you're going to play just that A0 on the first time, and then just these two strings the second time. Then you're going to mute them to give it a quick feel. And all you got to do to mute them is just put your fingers on the strings, just rest them gently so that they stop ringing out. Then you put first finger on B1, hammer on to B3, then E0 and D0, then do this. So B3, B1 twice, and then back to B3. Okay, so then moving to the second bar of the chorus, it's going to sound like this. So we're starting here with that bar of the first fret. And again, remember, try and use the side of your finger on the bone instead of the fleshy part. It's going to make it a lot easier to press. And you actually only need to play the B string and the E string. It doesn't actually matter if these ones ring out at all. And then with your second finger, you're going to put it on G2 and play these three strings. And you're going to do... So play all three the first time. And then just B and G the second time. Then you're going to do this. So that's going to be... B1 to 3 with a hammer on, then E0 and low E3, then so B3 pull off to 1, 1, 3, and then on the second one you're also going to play the G string. So so then that whole bar Now, so far for the chorus, we've got this. And then you're going to repeat that exact same thing again. So that makes that part real easy. Then we're going to repeat that first bar almost exactly the same. So these first two notes are the same. Then you're just going to do E3 to E0 with a pull off and then B3 to B1.
Then moving forward, you're going to play that second bar exactly the same. So this chorus is pretty repetitive. Then moving on to the second last bar of the chorus, it's going to be slightly different this time. So that part is going to be A0 and G2. Then you're going to play a G2 four times. And this part's pretty fast, so the technique to do it is alternating between your first and your second finger on the right hand. And you just want to get a nice, even alternation. And eventually you get used to going a little bit faster. And that's how you can get pretty fast notes on the same string. So you're going to play that. Then B1 to 3 with a hammer on. Then E0. G2. Keep that finger on and add your first finger on B1. Then third finger on B3. And then you're going to end the chorus with the second bar again. And that right there is the entire chorus. So if you play it all together, it's going to sound like this. And that right there is the entire chorus and the second last part. We need to play this entire song. We've made it through almost the entire thing. So the final part to go through is the post chorus. Okay, so we've almost made it through the entire song. We're finally into the home stretch, which is the post-chorus. So the post-chorus is actually going to be, again, pretty simple. There's a lot of repeated sections, and there's not too much to learn. So this is the main rhythm that we've got in the post-chorus. So you can hear some elements of the chorus in that part, but starting off, we've got this bar. You're going to start with your second finger on G2, and then first finger on D2, and then play A, D, and G strings. And then you're going to play just the D and G strings. So Then you can keep this second finger planted, and then move your first finger to B1, and then play that twice. So just those two strings. So we've got... Then you're going to put your third finger on B3, and then play D, G, and B strings. And then the second time, just B and G. And then end that bar with your pinky all the way stretched over to B5, and then keeping G2 with your second finger. So that whole bar is... And then, after that, the second bar is going to be the second bar of the chorus that we've repeated a lot. So we've already been through that. That one's pretty straightforward, and you've played that a bunch of times. So then, like a lot of this song, it's pretty repetitive, so we're going to do those exact same two bars a second time. And then, funny enough, we're going to do those exact same two bars a third time. Mm -hmm. 
And then to end off the post chorus, we're going to end it off the exact same way we ended off the chorus. So we've already played both of those bars. It's the bar that started with the alternating on the G2. So. And then ending with our favorite bar that we've seen all these times in the chorus and post chorus. And to end the song, we're gonna play G2, D2, and A0 for a nice power chord. So now the entire post chorus all together is gonna to sound like this. is the final part of this song. So you can play just that in the order and end it there. Or if you want to play a fuller, longer version, you can play all of those parts and then just repeat the entire thing twice. So play intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, post-chorus, post and then go right back and repeat intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, post-chorus. And end on that power chord right there. But if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Since you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to invite you to seriously consider joining our comprehensive fingerstyle guitar program. Basically, the goal of this program is to make the only resource you'll ever need to learn acoustic and fingerstyle guitar. We've got six courses currently in the program, and we continuously add more based on what our students want to see. The goal is to take you from whatever level you're at now all the way from the very beginning and bring you to a point where you're just a really talented guitarist. If you like these longer form lessons, then you're gonna find a lot of really, really useful stuff in the program. And another big key is that we do constantly update it. So if you join the program and there's something that you'd like to see that we don't maybe teach, then we're always open to suggestions and we do regularly update it with new content because the program is for you and the goal is to really make exactly the things that our students wanna see. So make sure to check that out in the link in the description below this video and I hope to see you in the program. Regardless, I'll see you soon in the next video.